Wow, that is some crazy ish. This video is brought to you by all my Patreon supporters. Go Team Awesome! Today starts the biggest typhoon, the super typhoon they're calling it, um, that has ever hit Japan, I think since the 50s. In this video, I want to tell you about the super typhoon that hit Japan called Typhoon Hagibis, as well as how I prepared for the typhoon and the aftermath. But first, I want to tell you about the typhoon called Faksai, which hit Japan the month before. It wasn't as strong as this typhoon, but it caused quite a lot of damage. It happened overnight, so around midnight, my dog woke up and woke me up as well. But we couldn't go back to sleep because as the typhoon got stronger, the walls and windows of my home started shaking and rattling, and the wind was so loud we couldn't sleep. In the morning, walking my dog, I noticed that there was way more damage than usual. Big trees had fallen, signs had been ripped off, telephone poles fell over, and even glass and windows shattered but probably the biggest problems were food and electricity. A giant electrical tower had fallen over from the wind and a lot of my town and surrounding towns had no electricity or internet. I was lucky because I only lost power for a day, but many people didn't have power for an entire week. It was so bad that the first three days of school were canceled because of no power and no school lunches available due to the food production center shutting down. And I walked around to all my convenience stores, supermarkets, and even vending machines to find all the water was gone. There was no bread, meat, cup ramen, any kind of bentos or ready-made food. Now on to yesterday's typhoon. It was the biggest typhoon to hit Japan since 1958. Winds and heavy rain also meant flooding and landslides. But what also happened was there was an earthquake and a tornado. Kind of like a natural disaster buffet. Uh, today is a bittersweet day for me because today is also my dog Maple's birthday. We were supposed to go to a dog park and to a doggy restaurant and celebrate today. Unfortunately, due to the problems, instead I've shuttered my house and um, am hoping that there's no damage or uh, injury to anyone in Japan. The original trajectory of this typhoon was estimated to pass through Chiba near my town again, so everyone was on high alert and much more prepared this time around. Here are some of the things that I did. For preparation, as you can see, um, there's no windows. Well, there's windows, but there's shutters um, that I've closed outside. So just in case the wind is too strong and it um, blows and breaks the window. Unfortunately, this side doesn't have um, any shutters, but at least it's kind of like a, a graded window. Um, so it's not too bad. It's still very early in the day. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's uh, kind of heavy rain, not too bad. Um, it's Saturday morning, so uh, the the hurricane doesn't come for another, or sorry, typhoon doesn't come for another eight hours or so. But still, it's already raining pretty hard. It's been raining all night, but no wind yet, so that's good. So if you look, a lot of houses do that. I don't know if you can see, but see that house there where it has the tape? Um, a lot of people tape their windows because if the windows do break and the wind and the, and the thing shatters it won't um, the glass will hopefully st at least stay together it won't break into really little small pieces and fall over the place candles so I have three candles um, I also have two lighters here uh, right there and I have this small flashlight but it's a pretty strong flashlight 
So this is a backup as well in case the power goes out. Chicken when I went there was no bread, there was no water, there was no eggs, there was no food, anything. So this time I didn't stock up too much, but I did get some extra bread. There's two or three loaves there. Um, I got some vegetables and tea and water bottles and extra water bottles down there. So it should be okay because it should be, this typhoon is supposed to pass through and should be gone by Sunday. So hopefully Monday should be back to normal, I hope. So that means uh, unless there's huge damage, everything should be back to normal by Monday. I'm, I'm hoping. So that means a lot of the shops and restaurants and stuff should be open again. Um, if not, I do have enough stuff to last me two or three days, so that's good. Um, after that, I'll have to start sharing dog food with Maple. Okay, while Maple's chilling here, let's do a quick check out of uh, how the typhoon is doing. It hasn't come yet, it's still afternoon. Um, I think the rain is still falling. Yeah. And uh, luckily I have a roof so I can walk around a bit. It's not too bad. I mean the rain is not too heavy. And there's a little bit of wind but not too much. So not so bad. Um, but um, there are announcements going on in the background from the city hall saying if possible don't go outside, stay indoors, etc, etc. Um, I just wanted to show you um, just wanted to show you my outside windows so you can see see they're shuttered up so hopefully if you can hear the rain getting stronger and the wind and the rain have uh, a little picked up a little bit it's still not too bad this is like a regular rainy day but um, definitely getting stronger I can feel the wind um, a lot more on, on the walls. Part of an area of Chiba called Ichihara had um, a tornado uh, and uh, apparently some houses were damaged, some car flipped over and somebody was killed as well. So it's kind of getting scary because I live in Chiba. I'm not that close to Ichihara I don't think. Um, I don't even know but uh, hopefully not. Um, but the wind like I said is getting strong here but it's not at the level it was last month when there was another big um, typhoon where there was a lot of damage in my neighborhood. So uh, I don't know if um, this is a sign of things to come or it's going to pass us and go. Um, I heard like Izu and Shizuoka was hit a lot harder and Tokyo as well. So we got it last month so maybe this time it might pass us but we'll see what happens. So, so far just lots of rain and wind is starting to pick up. Maple is getting restless. He wants to go out. Just me and Maple hanging out. See those neighbors are smart. Um, this part didn't have like a like a shutter thing, so I just left it. But apparently they um, I don't know if you can see it in my camera, but they boarded it up with um, some cardboard. Maple, you don't like the wind, do you? Scary, right? The windows have started shaking a bit. So uh, I didn't think about this before, but looking at my neighbors, they did this. So I just kind of put cardboard boxes against the window. I don't have tape. I should have taped this up. So this is something I should have done before <laughs> um, the typhoon hit. So note to self in future typhoons, if I survive this one, uh, please board up or tape up cardboard on the windows before the typhoon begins. Also one more thing I forgot to mention is I have this. I have this Ghostbusters bag. It's basically my earthquake bag. Right outside of the bag there's a whistle. Whoa, sorry Maple. This is of course in case you're trapped in a collapsed room or building and if you whistle maybe you can someone can hear you and try to rescue you. This thing here this is like um, a reflector, kind of you put it around your, your, I guess, like a sash 
um, lights can see you, so it's like a reflector band. Oh, I have tape. I had tape, which I was looking for before. A set here that has like a, it's kind of like a travel set, but it would be good in case you have to run out in a hurry. It has like slippers, um, an eye mask, and an inflatable pillow. So in case like if you have to um, evacuate to your local center, like a, it's, my, I think the local center for me is an elementary school. So maybe if I had to go there and I had nowhere to sleep, this would come in handy. And also in case I have to run out without shoes, um, I have slippers, so that's good. Yeah, saran wrap, I don't know why. I guess that's also good for like waterproofing things. Um, this is like one of those like blankets. Uh, these like tin foil blanket things to keep you warm. I have a couple of those. Um, I have this portable thing. I don't even know what this is. I have no idea what this is. It's like a bag, and in the bag I must have put some stuff. I have, uh, oh, face masks. I guess could come in handy if there's like smoke or something but not really for a typhoon but for an earthquake that might be useful if there's fire um, oh this is really helpful this is all medication stuff I have like burns or disinfectants uh, like ibuprofen an extra pair of socks and shirt ah Stewie I forgot about that family guy uh, I have a can opener and corkscrew in case I need to have like food, canned food. I have a lighter and lots of batteries in case of a flashlight. Um, a box cutter if I need that for cutting things. I have a flashlight. This flashlight is cool because not only does it have like a light um, but it also has like um, this so it can be like powered without electricity if I need it. Right? And it has like a emergency blinking thing. So at night once again it's for uh, it's hard to see, but the light works if you have to do that. If you don't have battery, it's like a hand-powered flashlight. So that's good. And the light lasts for a while, so that's pretty good. Um, and like I said, there's also this. And this also comes with a radio. So in case there's like emergency broadcasts and stuff, this is really awesome to have, very useful. These are foods that are like um, emergency foods. All of these are like jelly, up, like like a vitamin jelly kind of thing. I have uh, two jellies, peach and apple. I have some nuts, peanuts, mixed nuts. Oh, calorie mates, they're I guess like nutrition bars I guess or protein bars, I don't know what they're called. They're like a, a, like a food replacement thing. So I have a whole bunch of those. So anybody living in Japan most likely has an earthquake kit. You can buy them, like a set of them for like I think 50 bucks or something. But I just got a regular backpack and I went to the dollar store and I got most of these supplies from there. And I think this came to like 20 bucks for everything. So not bad at all. The typhoon was estimated to arrive in Chiba around 7 p.m. But around 5 p.m. the rain and wind started picking up. Throughout the night, the rain and wind were pretty strong, but I didn't lose any power nor encounter any internet problems. I don't know if it was because I used my shutters this time, but I felt very little shaking of my walls and windows and even the wind wasn't as loud as the last typhoon. So it looks like now that typhoon has approached the land, um, it's not as strong the wind, so it's kind of died down, but it's still passing through. So the next three hours or four hours should be like the biggest, uh, windiest um, parts of the storm and it should go by after that. So as long as there's no major damage in these next three, four hours, um, which I won't find out till I guess tomorrow morning, um, it should be fine. All right, uh, a new update. As I was about to eat dinner, um, my house started shaking and I thought it was the wind, but apparently there's an earthquake. So um, now we have typhoons, tornadoes, and earthquakes all in one day. Good times, Japan. Wow, that is some crazy-ish. That is some real crazy. You can see that tree leaves starting to fly in. Your birthday was a typhoon day, but did you have fun? You did a lot of stuff, right? You had fun, right? Good times? Alright, let's go to sleep. Sleep time, okay? Good morning, guys. I'm very lucky. Uh, Chiba is very lucky. Uh, we weren't hit that hard. It kind of uh, missed us, the, the typhoon. 
Uh, unfortunately, a lot of other places in Japan, like Tokyo and um, I think like Nagano and Izu and Shizuoka, places like that, got hit really hard. There was flooding, there was um, landslides, there was uh, a few deaths, um, I think a tornado um, in Chiba actually, uh, where uh, a car was turned over. There was also uh, some people who got like um, washed away um, in different parts of Japan. So it was a really bad uh, typhoon, it was really strong. But I'm gonna walk around um, and see if there is any damage or um, any remnants of the typhoon. But so far, so good. Like, as you can tell, it's really sunny. Um, it's really hot today, too. It's almost like another summer day, which is weird, because it's October. The Rugby World Cup that is taking place in Japan also experienced canceled games, and almost all flights from Japan were canceled. The JR train line shut down for Saturday and part of Sunday as well. I also hope people can go back to their homes and all the trains, transportation, shops and stores begin operation as well. I think this was a terrible disaster, but because Japan is so prepared and proactive in the way they handle disasters like typhoons and earthquakes, the damage and injury was limited. It could have been way worse. Thanks for watching this video and hope you learned a little something about typhoons and how to prepare for them. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos because my videos are awesome. Ozzy awesome. Take care and see you next time. Stay safe. Happy birthday, you turn 11 today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mabel. Happy birthday to you. Even Kaide came to sing along, right Kaide? Kaide? Kaide, it's Mabel's birthday. It's Maple's birthday. What are you going to give him? What are you going to give him? Nothing? You're not even going to look at him? Not even any eye contact? Alright. That's how you want to be. That's how you want to be.